Bye. Mm. Oops. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have tried. Try this. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Take go. I am a second year DPhil student at the University of Oxford and I am in the Faculty of Classics so I'm kind of the weird kid in the room at the Turin Institute because I work on computational modelling of language in Homer, so the Iliad and the Odyssey, I work on ancient Greek and I work on recurring syntactic structures in the Iliad and the Odyssey and how they change and how they're flexible. I'm a enrichment student obviously, I'm doing a PhD uh, at UCL looking at early predictors of dementia in electronic health records. Uh, my research is about mobile telecommunications and networks, especially in the era of 5G. Uh, the reason of me being in Turing is to explore how machine learning and artificial intelligence can be used to optimize the algorithms used in the mobile networks. I uh, am a second year PhD student in Warwick in the CDT for Urban Science. And I focus on urban informatics and particularly within that on uh, spatial machine learning. So I look how machine learning methods can capture real spatial patterns that are observable in cities. And my key application areas are crime research and uh, transportation. Which, uh... <laughs> how did you choose when to do your placement? At the Turing. <laughs> I, think, I think so, yeah. we are doing this for the Turing. Um, it made sense for me to do it in my second year because yeah. it's a three year PhD and I will need my third year to write up and to actually <laughs> make sure that I can put this in a form that will be agreeable to everyone in my intended audience. I decided to do it before I started my PhD but that was because I was already thinking about the Turing as potential place to do a full doctoral. I uh, didn't have to like stop my clock, I didn't have to stop what I was working on and then start a new thing here. I'm in my third year so I decided to do it now because um, my PhD hadn't been completely what I'd wanted it to be in terms of how much data science, it was a bit more kind of informatics-y and epidemiology so I chose to do it now because I thought I've only got two thirds of the way through my PhD, um, I'd like to do a bit more data science-y stuff so for me it was, it's come at the end but that's quite a good thing for me.